in general, we have a somewhat difficult sentiment uh, in Europe in total. And Germany, let's not forget that, is a very competitive market. Um, and one of the things that we have also clearly seen over the last quarters is the margin pressure that is still on in Germany. Do you think it will change uh, in the foreseeable future, the margin pressure, because the German market seems to stay competitive for a long time? No, German market will stay competitive and it has been competitive, let's be honest, uh, also for the last years. Uh, so there's no big difference. The question is how to tackle the issue. And that's what we're saying. Growth, digitalization, uh, cost down is the things to improve on profitability. How much money do you make per client? Because you're aggressively lobbying to gain clients with uh, giving away also money uh, if you change your accounts uh, to the Commerce Bank. We um, have uh, roughly a 300 uh, euro per customer per year revenue stream on our net new customers after roughly 18 months. Uh, so in simple terms, 2 million net new customers at the end of the strategy should at the end produce uh, roughly 600 million of revenues. That is uh, key of the strategy. Um, as much as that is right and is paying off, we still see uh, margin pressure, for example, in the private mortgage business and the likes. So again, the strategy is right. If we wouldn't have it, we would be uh, a lot worse off. So I'm happy with what we're doing right now. Okay, let's move on to geopolitical topics like Italy. Italy is a wild card for the Eurozone, it seems. So uh, how concerned are you about Italy? Um, and also, could that trigger another yeah, run on, on a sovereign run, so to say, for Italy? I think we will uh, probably see a bit of volatility around the discussion, but the, uh, my general view is that at the end of the day we will not see anything close to a Euro breakup or anything like it. I think the forces also within Italy uh, to keep things a bit in check are still uh, pretty much in, intact. Another threat to Europe or also the Eurozone somewhat is the Brexit. Uh, quite, yeah, it, it, it's quite imminent. We don't have a deal. What is your dominant scenario and how well are you positioned? I think the prudent scenario for every company right now is to prepare for a hard Brexit. Um, and in that sense, uh, we are prepared. Uh, we are also prepared to deal with other versions of it. But I think for the time being, you have to assume, unfortunately, I have to say, um, a hard Brexit. And that is what we are prepared for. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.